Welcome back to Geotactics, where we bring you riveting tales from the annals of military history. Today, we're diving into a moment that marked the beginning of one of the most tumultuous periods in human history. Join me as we explore the German battleship Schleswig-Holstein's bombardment of Westerplatte in Danzig, which was the opening salvo to World War II. Before we embark on this historical journey, can I ask a huge favour from you? Would you hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell for more captivating videos just like this one? Our story unfolds on the pre-dawn hours of 1st September 1939, when the world held its breath as the German war machine roared to life and Poland found itself at the epicentre of the storm. But before the first clash of soldiers on the German-Polish frontier, another battle would take place as the small garrison on Westerplatte, a peninsula guarding the entrance to the port city of Danzig, became the unlikely stage for the opening act of World War II. Tensions had been escalating for months, and diplomatic efforts had failed to prevent the inevitable. The German invasion of Poland was imminent, and Westerplatte, though seemingly insignificant, held strategic importance as a key transit point. At dawn on 1st September 1939, the German battleship Schleswig-Holstein, ostensibly on a friendly visit to the free city of Danzig, revealed its true intent. Under the guise of a routine courtesy call, the ship positioned itself within firing range of Westerplatte, its 280mm guns loaded and ready. The unsuspecting Polish garrison at Westerplatte was taken by surprise as Schleswig-Holstein unleashed a barrage of shells, signalling the commencement of hostilities. The calm morning was shattered as explosions echoed across the peninsula, marking the start of what would become the Second World War. Led by Major Henryk Suchaski, the garrison consisted of just over 200 soldiers who were ill-equipped to face the firepower of a battleship and over 60 Luftwaffe aircraft. Despite the overwhelming odds, the Polish defenders held their ground. They fought from makeshift trenches and bunkers, enduring relentless shelling from the sea and air. The battle at Westerplatte turned into a prolonged siege that lasted six days. The Polish garrison, cut off from reinforcements and supplies, faced dire circumstances. The Germans, confident in their eventual victory, continued their assault, intensifying the siege with each passing day. This first battle of World War II at Westerplatte set the stage for the larger conflict that would unfold in the coming years. Despite the heroic efforts of the Polish defenders, the overwhelming might of the German military prevailed. On 7 September 1939, after six days of intense fighting, the Polish garrison at Westerplatte finally surrendered. Poland would be defeated in just 35 days. If you found this video informative, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit that bell icon to get notified of new videos just like this. As always, thank you for watching. Until next time, cheers.